don't see many ASMR board games popping up on YouTube. It's not really a review. It's just something interesting for you to look at and uh, kind of explore with me. A bit of an unboxing if you like. Uh, but there's some lovely little pieces in there that you can, you can see me playing with. And there's some nice artwork as well. Um, I'm really glad that you've found your way to my channel. I've seen so many videos over the last two years that help me sleep, uh, help me relax when I might be stressed or anything like that. And I wanted to give something back to you guys and give you something else to watch when you get that kind of ASMR immunity from your favourite artist sometimes. Uh, certainly it happens to me from time to time. And uh, then I go out searching for other people. this video and if you want to subscribe, comment and like that would be fantastic and uh, if you like these board game uh, unboxings and sort of going through them then let me know. I've got plenty of board games that I can, uh, that I can show you so uh, they've all got some wonderful sounds and some really cool pieces to look at so uh, let me know what you think through to the, the board game now. Okay, so this is the game. King of Tokyo. It's made by Richard Garfield. And this game inside the box. shows you how to play. It's really played out quite quite easily. You can see all of the bits and pieces here. And uh, it's not very big either. This this really for a, a modern game is quite a thin book. Oh, it's quite a nice sound, isn't it? It's giving a nice breeze as well.
idea of this game very simply is to kill off everybody else, destroy everybody else, um, or get uh, up to 20 victory points, which are these little stars here. And um, basically, uh, you start the game, everybody is out of Tokyo, and you're trying to, as I say, kill everyone or um, get as many victory points as possible. If you come into Tokyo, if you take over Tokyo, then you can attack everyone else that isn't in Tokyo. And if you're outside of Tokyo, then you only attack the person that is in Tokyo. So you can, you'll see when I show you these, um, that it's uh, very easy to die <laughs> when you're in Tokyo. But you do have the opportunity to get everyone, so it's quite cool, it's a nice mechanic. So in here are all the little player cards that are up there. Um, so on this part here you've got a little health wheel and it starts at 10. It can go up to 12 but it starts at 10 and every time someone rolls a hit point, which is one of these little symbols, you have to take five down. Zero or skull face. So, uh, yeah, that's quite cool. And on here is the victory points. So this starts at zero and goes all the way up to 20. And if you get to 20, then you do win. Um, personally, I don't really play any games where we get to 20. Someone has always died way before then. But uh, you've got to have another way of winning, haven't you? So this is the Mecha Dragon. I think just because the card is pink, I can never choose this card. I don't, I don't know why, it just, it's too curly. I always have uh, the king. I don't have the king's next, but hopefully. Uh, you'll see the king, maybe he's at the bottom of the pile. Gigasaur. This one reminds me, now I don't know if in, uh, in other countries, but certainly in the UK, they used to have Jewets. The Jewets were a sweet, chewy sweet, and they had a uh, advert where this character, um, who looks exactly like this, was fighting someone else to get Jewets, <laughs> these tiny little sweets, so uh, that's what this guy always reminds me of, the Jewets advert, but uh, I don't use him either, one must be in there somewhere, I haven't lost it, this is the Kraken, See, it works with these little wheels. It's quite a well-made game, actually. It's quite, um, it's quite a simple game, but it's, it's very well-made. I really like this. And, uh, let me show you some of the other ones as well. Alienoid. Sort of a computer geek. Oid. Maybe that's what this chap is. just looks 
really tired, doesn't he? Look at his eyes. <laughs> he doesn't look very terrifying. He's knackered. That's why he is. He's knackered. And here we are. Here's the king. Clearly this character is the coolest looking character. At least in my opinion, he's the coolest looking character. Sort of a giant monkey with a terminator eye. Best character. through how you play the game in great detail, it's just kind of showing you, uh, you know, what new board games look like. A lot of people stop playing board games, they, uh, you know, played Monopoly, realised that they, every time they played it, they hated their families, and, <laughs> you know, stopped playing them. And, uh, we really just started getting into games because, um, It's a really nice way to save money as well because, you know, we're saving for a house and uh, things like that and uh, having people over, you know, is, is uh, obviously a cool way to see your friends and you get to save some money as well because you're not going out spending all your money. So, um, these are the little stand-up figures that go into little, um, in here somewhere, there's little plastic things that you slot them back into so they just stand up like that. So it looks quite cool because they're all standing up around the board and people sort of moving him in and moving him out and uh, attacking. And we've got uh, the king. There he is. To be honest, I pretty much always lose this game. I'm really bad at this game. It's a little scary. Oh, there is actually a bunny, you know, I've never actually looked that closely. Um, but that is actually a bunny in there. <laughs> I just thought it was the name, I thought it was, you know, giant mecha bunny or something. But, um, these are the coolest parts here. These dice are massive, massive, massive dice. I'm not going to get them all out because it will make loads of noise, but uh, you can see on here you've got victory points. You've got hit points. You've got uh, energy cubes. This allows you to pay for these special cards that are in here. And then you've got health, so you can heal yourself. So that you're not, uh, you know, you can, instead of trying to attack everybody, you can try and keep yourself alive. But, uh, they make a lovely sound. Actually, my microphone isn't binaural, so uh, I can't give you that experience. You could just imagine. <laughs> I'm going to your right side and to the left side. are a little green by the way. You may have seen. Maybe you can see that. <clears throat> I had to dress up as the Hulk yesterday for a fancy dress party and the green face stuff is uh, is terrible. It, uh, it does not come off easily. I had to basically hose down like a dog to get it off. It's still stuck on my nails and some of the end of my fingers. They look pretty cool. They look pretty cool. Mm. 
saved got the uh, <coughs> energy value, which are these little cubes here. says whenever you lose two hearts or, or more then you gain one of these little energy cubes so it's uh, it's quite good if people are hammering you with the uh, with the attack you can get some energy and then maybe buy a better card that could change the fate of the game plot twist looks like that evil bunny is back <laughs> although uh, somehow the, the carrot is levitating interesting to, to watch and gives you some real good reasons to or not to go for a game obviously it's your choice at the end of the day but um, yeah he's very good he actually you know inspired me to go and buy this game and, and I don't, don't regret you know, buying it whatsoever it's quite a cheap game in comparison to some others interesting in getting into gaming. I mean, we only play with our friends and our friends. 
is one of the ones, as I say, is really easy to learn and really easy to get anybody teaching. I could teach this to, well, maybe not my nan. <laughs> I don't think she'd understand. But, uh, you know, friends and family, no problem. So, uh, if you like these, um, sort of not really unboxings, but just kind of talking about games and things like that, and you want to see some of these cool looking games, then I will keep doing these kind of videos. Enjoy the sounds and things like that. But if you just let me know, rate and comment and subscribe and all of those cool things, and uh, we'll see how we go. Let's say for me, I uh, discovered ASMR you know, a few years ago, as in it was something that wasn't just my experience but many others as well. with this YouTube phenomenon and uh, I thought I'd join in and uh, hopefully offer something a little different to what you see elsewhere just for some variety because um, I find that even my favourite ASMR artists you sort of become immune after a while um, you have to find someone else just for a little bit before you go back so I thought because of that it's time for me to offer something else to watch, something else to enjoy. And, um, yeah, so, welcome to my channel. And, uh, I'll see you soon.